So it'll start on B3. It'll go one, two. Ba ba da ba da ba da. Here we go. I'll give you four beats plus two. One, two, three, four, one, two. What happens in Jazz Angels is so amazing and now that we're in our 11th year to see it happen and hear it happen time and time again is so cool. So this person comes into the rehearsal on that first day. Maybe they know a couple people in the band, maybe they don't. They're a little apprehensive, maybe they don't want to improvise a solo, they're thinking they can't read the music. And then because of how we deliver the program, um, which parallels kind of the evolution of jazz. Within a few weeks, they're feeling pretty comfortable about it. They're feeling good about the music. They've actually internalized it so they can play it with the right feeling. They're starting to improvise and figure out what notes are, work for them, what notes don't. We always tell them to shake off any mistakes because there's no reason to dwell on a mistake. We felt music education should be flexible, encouraging, more personal, and fun. Jazz Angels was developed to be an alternative course of study rather than compete with a school and private music education programs. The program, it helps motivate people who might not have the opportunity to play in a jazz ensemble or might not even have the opportunity to learn improvisation. In addition, due to school scheduling and certain electives, oftentimes friends and neighbors of different ages don't really get to be in a band together. And that's why we created Jazz Angels. Four. After a couple more weeks, we start really focusing on improvisation. We bring in professionals to sit in with them, talk about how they learned improvisation, and if you fast forward to the performance, it's almost a totally different person than just a few rehearsals prior to that. They came in and were so afraid and so shy, and here they are at, at our performance, standing up, improvising a solo, kind of leading the band in the overall sound. It's really cool. And then to an unexpected outcome of us, of the program, is to see what happens to these children later on. And over the years, we've seen uh, our confidence building and uh, goal setting skills uh, go beyond music itself. And, uh, and th anyway, that's what happens in Jazz Angels. It's not just about jazz, it's about life. In a jazz setting, you can have a larger band than, let's say, uh, a rock and roll setting or something like that. So we could have more horns, we can incorporate any, any instrument to that. Um, whereas rock is a little bit more limiting and, uh, uh, and some of the other styles of music as well. But we decided at the beginning to focus on jazz. There are so many children playing wind instruments, brass instruments, string instruments that don't get the opportunity to really express themselves. And so that's why we, we thought focusing on jazz would be a great beginning. Many things inspire, inspire me to do better, to go beyond my thoughts and visions for the organization, to step out of my comfort zone. I get really, really inspired after teaching some young people and seeing the progress that they're making by a little bit of effort, some practicing and playing and thinking about it. So that inspires me to practice and perfect my skill as, as, a, as a musician. 
in addition, it inspires me to really grow the program because if I see what happened with when we started with 10 people, then we grew to 50 people. Now we're at about 150, 200 people a week involved with Jazz Angels. I get really inspired to grow that program because I see what it does to them is so great. At the end of a long day where maybe I've taught six or seven lessons, we've had a few classes, and maybe I've played a gig, and I've worked, I don't know, 14, 16 hours, I'm going home and I'm feeling really good about what I've done. And so that, I don't really mind putting in those hours because of the outreach and the uh, effect I've had on the community and the effect the community has had on me as well.